Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm super excited to be doing this video right now. I'm so encouraged, so refreshed, and just want to encourage you guys with this message. I'm so hyped with what um, transpired this week. I've just been so filled, uh, seeking the Lord, just being in prayer, um, uh, being in his presence and just reading scripture, uh, talking to good, um, you know, brothers and sisters and things like that. And I just want to encourage you guys because right now it's been a tough, you know, couple of weeks, couple of months for a lot of us each to your own. You guys have individual circumstances. Uh, A lot of you guys have been asking for prayer. And of course, with everything that's going on politically, uh, socially, and just across uh, what is basically uh, the world and the impact it has with regards to elections and and other things. And and I want to encourage you guys, like I've been saying, and I'll share this in, in the future, but we're in the midst right now of a huge transition to one of the greatest seasons of revival that we've ever seen. And I've mentioned this, many other uh, voices have mentioned this, prophetic and, um, you know, um, uh, other ministries and things like that. And we're in the midst of that right now. And we've been in and we are continuing to go into a period of testing, of trials, of tribulations. And I've had my fair share, I'm not going to lie. If you guys have noticed, the last couple of weeks have been uh, very uh, tough for me in, in, in many ways, but I've been able to pull through I've been tested like I've never been tested before. Uh, Satan has really hated me in many ways. I've had so much that I've been fighting with regard with regards to, um, you know, fame, fortune, family, friends, uh, community, you name it. I've gone uh, I've uh, at, at the height of a lot of it. I've gone through it. I feel like in the past month, more so than I've ever had uh, before. Um, and And of course, I'm not trying to. Uh, make it sound bigger than than it is. Many of you guys are going through tough situations, but for me, it's been something that I've never really experienced before. And I'm so excited to be coming um, out of this uh, just really renewed and refreshed. I've lost a lot of things. I've um, you know been hit, punched, uh, I guess, spiritually as well as um, just metaphorically in many ways. And I'm coming out of this more bold, more confident, more energized than I've ever before. And I'm just so excited for what the future holds because my uh, biggest passion is that people would come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, that people would grow a deeper, intimate relationship with him. And I'm so excited for the platform that the uh, Lord has put me here with and for what the future holds because we're about to go into a period like you've never seen before. And I'm so excited to be a part of it in whatever small way or, um, you know, whatever way that the Lord is going to use me. And I want to be faithful to that. And I want to um, run this way, race, right? And as uh, just a word of encouragement, Hebrews 12 says, uh, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking on to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And man, I am so um, excited for this because nothing in this world matters but uh, Christ. And we have so many things that tangle us down, that weigh us down. The sin, the sin of this world, it's so great. And it ensnares us, right? Uh, but this verse says, And there's such a big race that's coming up um, that we all have in our lives. But it takes, um, you know, our relationship with Christ to get us to that. And we we need to be able to love him and we have to put him first above all things. And that's what I want to do every single day more and more because nothing in this matter uh, in this world matters. Um, My reputation doesn't matter Um, in some way. Family, friends and other things don't matter compared to who Jesus Christ is. I would lose all of that to gain Jesus. And of course, I'm not trying to say anything negative about that, but um, with respect to having that treasure, having Christ at the center, I'm so excited for that. And I want you guys to have that. And I want other people, uh, future listeners or your friends, your family, your um, you know, coworkers or your close people, I want that for them as well. And so I just want to encourage you guys that if you're going through a tough time, if you're trying to um, stay afloat, if you're trying to run this uh, race, Let's do it together. And I encourage you and I pray for you guys that you would also stand up and stand firm because there's a lot of things, a lot of, um, you know, opposition, a lot of satanic activity, a lot of, um, of enemy attacks that's going to hinder us 
and uh, really stumble us. And I pray for myself and for you guys that you guys don't get uh, entrapped in that, that you guys get weighed down, bogged down, and at worst, you turn from your faith. You don't want to do that. And you want to stay faithful. You want to continue running this marathon because this life is short. And what we have in heaven and what we have with God and our uh, eternity with Christ is so much bigger and so much more than any little dinky thing that we can ever experience here on earth. Even what we experience in one day or in a season of time, in this hour uh, of what has been uh, a tumultuous time. And there's so much more, so much things that are bigger than this that I'm reminded of, that I've been uh, encouraged by and refreshed by. Uh, and I look forward to that in the future. And so I want to encourage you guys with that. Wherever you guys are at, just know Christ is with you. Christ is always with you. There's a, um, a group of brothers and sisters all across the world that are praying for this time and for um, a harvesting of souls and for the growth and the sanctification of this body of Christ. And so uh, pay no attention you know, to other things that are distracting you, the enemy that's trying to uh, hold you down. Fight those things, and uh, as a community, we're going to get through this, and we're going to be um, in a place, uh, whether it's uh, you know in heaven or even in this time now where we can uh, emulate and represent that, that community, that body of Christ, that love for, for Jesus. And so I want to encourage you guys with that. Stay tuned for more. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, yeah, and I'll uh, uh, talk to you guys soon.